Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com in today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we learned how to calculate profit and loss in the Forex market so we can determine the risk and reward in US dollars for each trade. In today's lesson we're going to continue our discussion on the logistics of Forex trading with a look at something which is known as leverage. So let's get started. While the Forex market has a reputation for being a very risky and volatile market, when talking about the main currency pairs of the world, it is actually one of the least volatile markets there is. While a 2% move in a day is fairly common in many stocks and futures contracts, this would be considered a pretty large move in most of the main currency pairs and their crosses. So if this is true, then it begs the question of why the Forex market has such a reputation for being a very volatile and risky market to trade. The answer to this question has something to do with something known as leverage and the fact that in the Forex market, traders are given access to a much higher amount of leverage than in most other markets. When we talk about leverage in the financial markets, we're talking about the ability to amplify the gain or loss on a trade through the use of either borrowed capital or a financial instrument which is structured to accomplish this. To point to an example that many people are familiar with, let's look at what happens when most people go to buy a house. As most people don't have all the cash they need on hand to simply pay for the house out of pocket, they go to the bank and get a mortgage so that they can afford to buy the house. To obtain this loan, the buyer of the home will generally put down some capital up front, a common number for which is 20% of the purchase price. So let's say for example that I go and take out a mortgage for a $1 million house and put up 20%, 200000 in order to obtain a mortgage from the bank for the balance of 800000 Now let's say over the next year the value of my house goes up by 5% of the purchase price so that the house which was worth $1 million is now worth $1,050,000. While the value of my house in this example has gone up by 5%, the return on the money that I invested in the house, the $200,000, is actually much higher than this. The reason for this is something which is known as leverage. As we can see from this example, leverage allowed me to buy an asset, in this case a house, with only one-fifth the money I would have needed to put up had I needed to put up all the money myself. So in this example, the return on my investment is not 5%, but the increase in the value of the property, $50,000, divided by my down payment, $200,000 which equals a return of five times the 5% gain on the value of the property, or 25%. When people first see the power of leverage, they normally get very excited, as the gambler seeking the slot machine jackpot that is, that, that's in all of us starts to take over the brain. What's important to realize, however, is that just as in this example a 5% gain on the value of the house resulted in a 25% gain on the original investment, if the value of the house falls by 5%, this would represent a loss of 25% on the original investment. As we continue our discussion on leverage, it will become clear that one of the main reasons the Forex market has a bad name and why so many traders blow themselves up early on in the market is because they over leverage themselves. While this may work to amplify their gains initially, eventually a losing streak which always eventually comes along, does come along, and knocks them out of the game completely. For your homework assignment tonight, I encourage you to place a few more trades on your demo trading account and notice how the different columns in the account windows and the accounts window of the platform react when you do this as this you know is going to lead into a discussion that we're going to have on trading on margin in tomorrow's lesson if you've not done done so already you can register for a free real-time demo account at the link above this video if you're watching on informtrades.com or to the right of this video if you're watching on youtube that's our lesson for today 
In our next lesson, we'll look at the logistics of trading on margin on our real-time demo trading account. So we hope to see you in that lesson. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And good luck with your trading.